Buckle up, because this is Knuckle Up TV. I'm with the current new WBO middleweight champion, Mr. Billy Joe Saunders. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good, brother. You? Yeah, not too bad. Um, how do you feel right now, being the new middleweight champion? How does it feel? Uh, you know, obviously it feels very good Feeling. knowing that you're you know, world champion, but something always new as a young kid and, and you know, coming through the ranks that I was always going to be world champion, so it wasn't a, a surprise, it was just a matter of mm. when mm. coming through. Mm. So. Mm. But when you, when you got the decision, what was the moment like? What, how did it feel like? Uh, I knew I won anyway, out of the bell. No, I, yeah, like, I, 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 I knew I won, I, I knew I was up. And, you know, the, the, but the best feeling was like going into the 8th, ninth, 10th, knowing you're winning. Mm. And you know, and the element of surprise where you could get knocked out and but stay focused though so, you know that's the exciting bit just getting to the final bell and um it was a it was a night to remember you're now an, an elite level fighter yeah yeah top yeah i mean listen there's, the, 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 yeah well you know there's there's three champions at the weight shall i say but um you know what well, it'd, it'd be good to do a big round robin tournament and see who the best is wouldn't it definitely the word out everyone's must be driving you mental is Gennady Golovkin that word yeah listen he, he's listen he, he's, he's a good fighter yeah. he's uh, you know he's one of the best on the planet mm. but you know there's you know there's there's cracks I see in him mm -hmm. and if there's anybody to beat him mm -hmm. it'd be a good slick mover mm -hmm. and uh, I've got that you know they, they was talking about a, a fight with me and him I've got no problem fighting him mm -hmm. But you know, let's make things let's make things on an even playing field. Let's let's get it right. If I go over to America, <coughs> you know, he's, he's HBO fighter. If I beat him by two rounds, I'm not going to get the decision, and I'm not going to go out there and stick it on him and try to knock him out. So if I got him over in England and I beat him by two rounds, I'm going to get the decision. So I come over in England and I fight. Mm. Okay, definitely. Yeah. I, so I firstly think I, I don't know if you think the same way. I think a Miguel Cotto fight. It's a good yeah, fight for you. Definitely. I mean that's the one I've been screaming out for. I've been screaming out for the Miguel yeah, Cotto yeah, fight. Yeah. Um you know, I, I wouldn't rule it out, <coughs> especially for the summer, a big mm. summer show. So I'm looking for a big fight in July mm. and hopefully it could be Miguel Cotto. Oh, I couldn't wait to see that. Yeah, well that's all I like, Miguel Cotto. No, definitely. Um okay. So you're fighting in April? Yeah, well, right, the date in April. Um, okay. I'm sitting down with Frank. Uh, should be later on today. Okay. Meeting the, my lawyer and Frank, and um, okay. try to dish out a uh, an opponent. Okay. Interesting. But Interesting. As I say, like you know, the opponents at this level, they're not yeah. our opponents. You know, they're mm. they're going to be good fighters. So, yeah, um, so it's trying to find somebody what's not had five losses. Or literally, probably had a couple of a draw or or, or one loss. Not. As a defence, I, th I as a defence, as, as a reasonably easy defence for you, I would think someone like a Daniel Gill. Would you yeah, say yeah, Daniel yeah, Gill? Yeah. Really? Listen, yeah, I, I think yeah. that you know Daniel Gill's a good fight, and I would never yeah. look at him as an easy defence. Yeah. But it'd be a fight that I'd rather strive. Yeah, 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 definitely. Daniel Gill, yeah, think, definitely. Yeah, yeah. but um, mm. you know, it's hard to make these sort of fights because yeah. when they've been in some big, big fights, mm. you know, they expect the big money all the mm. time. Mm. Mm. But um, you know, it's not always the way. Yeah, expecting the big paycheck. Uh, well, like, that's yeah. the one. So yeah. you know, everyone's got to be reasonable, and mm. you know, it's the shot you're looking at. So hopefully, yeah, I'll pull it forward to Frank today, Daniel Gill. Daniel Gill, yeah, yeah. look out for that one. Um, yeah, um, so Billy, you're a big Arsenal fan, aren't you? Very big, yeah. Massive Arsenal fan. Yeah, yeah. you got a season ticket? No, I go to Frank Ron's box though all the time, and I'll, I'm, at, I'm at the games every week. You do every week. I should just get a season ticket, really, but I'm never really around. Like if I'm away in training, training camp, it's pointless. So. I just go in every week. Okay, you're getting back into training. Was it today or? Yeah, well, I've yeah, been ticking so. over, and ticking uh, over. today okay. it's, uh, it's full steam ahead. So, full um, steam ahead. so, um, so it's, it's all systems go now. Yeah, yeah. but I think we was uh, lucky yesterday to score the 94th minute against Leicester. Leicester, good team, but uh, I was I was happy with the two one win. I'll take that all day. All right, Billy. Well, I look forward to seeing you a bit more. Yeah. And obviously yep. meeting up with you. And hope, hope today goes well for you. Thank you very much. And Thank obviously you. April all steams ahead. Yep. And whoever you fight, obviously I'll be on your side. Thank yeah. Thank you, my brother. And good, good luck, Cha. Yep. All right. I wish you all the best. All right. And you. All right, Billy. Tune in. Knuckle up TV. Knuckle up TV. See you later. Oh,